welcome, bringing you a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The majority of my readings are not date or time specific because we're all on different timelines. And since I read for relationships, some things that I'm tapping into now could have already happened for some of you and may unfold at a later time for others. So I just trust that whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, if it's aligned with your storyline, then it may be your message at that time. But as a general reading, it will not resonate for everyone. So just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Yes. If you're here as a cross watcher, welcome. Sometimes the messages come through straight for a cross watcher. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. And for those who are returning, much love and appreciation as always. The only thing I will let you know is that as I'm recording this, we do have Mercury retrograde, which is the most powerful thing happening at this time, other than we're moving toward, uh, we're in the third quarter moon right now and moving toward a new moon. But with that retrograde, Mercury just shifted from Gemini to Taurus. So there is a different energy um, about the retrograde right now, moving out of the monkey mind of the retrograde in Gemini and into more of the fields with Taurus. So we may be traversing over thoughts and perceptions in matters of the heart and relationships. Um, and yeah, we can be in the feels about it. Okay, so just know that that's a thing and it's going to be with us for the next few weeks and then it will pass. Let's take a peek, shall we? Page of Cups. Hmm. Message of love or sincerity. What is crossing you? Eight of Cups. Um, underneath is the Empress. In the past is the Seven of Wands. What's crowning you now is the Three of Wands. I'll hold them up in a moment. Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody is returning here. Message from Spirit, Two of Pentacles. Um, and the hidden energy is the Chariot. Somebody coming back. In your hopes and or fears, we have the lover's card and the queen of pentacles in the outcome position and on the bottom of the deck, eight of swords. So the eight of swords is like that mercury energy, the retrograde energy of like, I don't know what's going on, overthinking the situation. Uh, Libra, I got a lot of Libra in my chart, so I own this. I hope you will too. Just where you get to that point where you overthink and overthink instead of dropping into your heart chakra. And that's exactly what I'm telling you to do is to understand that if you have any confusion and things don't seem clear or they're muddy or whatever because of the retrograde, just drop into your feelings. And yeah, the stuck energy is coming from the Six of Cups. That is the past life soulmate. So right, so you gotta drop into your heart, Queen of Cups. Um, instead of trying to sort it all out in your brain, that is not going to work for you at this time. So what do we have here? Um, in the present energy, we are challenged by the eight of cups. And that may be about, um, some message that would help you get over the drama that doesn't serve you anymore. That will help you move forward on your path, not carrying lots of emotional baggage. So I feel like the present energy is about a message that would be helpful to overcome what's been weighing you down. Um, let me just pull that first. King of Swords, Hierophant. Yes, yeah, so some communication, especially around matters, uh, around commitment or your beliefs around, your, your personal beliefs, your um, even religious beliefs, but having to do with conventional committed relationship. I feel like there's been something that may have been said, um, King of Swords, in, in a sharper cutting way or um, not in a non, not so warm and fuzzy way that may have hurt some feelings. So I do feel if a message of love or apology came in, it would sort of set you free. That would be a good conversation to have and it would sort of allow you to leave that drama in the past. Underneath is your unconscious awareness, Empress. 
Um, divine feminine energy of the Empress is all about unconditional love. It is about nurturance. It's about birthing new things, lots of creativity. Taurus and Libra. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I felt that as I was pulling the cards. I was like, something's just bringing me down here. So, like I said, emotional baggage. You, you have some frustration here. I kind of feel like you're at the end of your ropes. Despite your unconditional love for your person, that's what I'm here for, right? You're kind of guarded. There's something that's being held back, and I don't know how much longer you're going to push forward because I don't think you're getting any clarity. There's just like a mess of emotions here. It's very confusing, a lot to process as I was saying. So this makes perfect sense for um, what we're experiencing as I record this, um, cosmically speaking. But no matter when you're, re when you're watching it, um, you can always hearken back to the date of publication and look back and say, oh, this is what I was processing at that time. And then pick up from where you left off and keep moving forward. Because I do see that there's some measure of perseverance here. Uh, even though you're guarded, even though you may be super confused. So let's see the seven of wands in the past. I'll show you that card. Feels very self-protective, maybe defensive a bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel the defensiveness came from this King of Wands, King of Wands, King of Swords. Energetically, the King of Wands is either going after what they want or they're unavailable for it. They're like, yeah, no. So I kind of feel like this person pushed you off, kept you, they were the one that was defensive. And there is that little page of cups, a uh, message of love or apology around not being very cooperative, kind of being standoffish or even just outright defensive and resistant. I feel like there was um, maybe some communication around that with either an apology or the need for one because it's showing up here right now, and I kind of feel like it's still lingering from a past situation. And I do feel resistance throughout this part of the reading so far. So let's look at what's crowning you here is the Three of Wands. That's a card of manifestation. Um, you know, the expectation, uh, anticipation of something coming towards you that you've already set in motion. Yeah reconciliation, a coming back together. Um, this is definitely something you want and, may, and might be orchestrating behind the scenes. I love that we now have the king and queen of wands. It's almost like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see your defensiveness and, and I'll raise you the reconciliation because I'm calling us back in. I'm calling it back in. I want this to kind of, I want to find peace. I want to meet in the middle. This is a win-win outcome. It is kind of coming through the battle um, with a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Coming through the battle with a healthy respect for one another and an ability to kind of make peace with whatever came in the past and offload all this exhaustion right here, okay? It's like it's worth the struggle. So I do feel that you are coming through as the queen of wands, a little bit of that mag magical energy of the black cat at your feet there. You're aware of your powers of manifestation and what you're calling in is a reconciliation, a coming back together, a cause for celebration. Let's see the knight of wands and there they come. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm seeing the Six of Cups here, which we already saw underneath the Eight of Swords. So in the future, this is the future position, we have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So I feel someone's coming back to kind of reignite the passion, um, to sort of heal 
old wounds and they feel like they're from the past, not like yesterday. It feels a little bit longer than that. And I mean, not, not years, but maybe a couple, couple good weeks to a month um, that this has been going on. But I feel like they're returning and the reason why they're not returning um, with their, they're coming in with passion. They're not coming in as the Knight of Cups. They're not coming in as the, the Page of Cups, although that's what you want. They're coming in a little more high spirited, almost as if to say, oh, like, you know, we can move beyond that. You know, we know what we have is solid. We have history. So I'm feeling like they're coming back. The question is, will they stay? That's part of the issue with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands as well, kind of acting on impulse and that may sort of prolong the healing process. Um, so let's take a look at the Two of Pentacles coming in from Spirit. Um, might be like you have to Contend with realities on the ground. Is this what you want? Is it coming towards you in the way that is most healing or most helpful? Or will you feel torn about it? Take your time, Spirit says. Take care of yourself, Spirit says. We got pentacle, 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 pentacle. Very 3D based. Um... I could be talking uh, to someone who's in a marriage. This feels very much like I'm, I'm looking at something with life partnership, something with the long haul. And the two of pentacles is where spirit's saying, is the jury out? Are you undecided? Are you torn? And if so, move slow, be real slow. Um, take your time, be very intentional about things, be very deliberate, um, move forward with caution, um, and also a plan. That's the Knight of Pentacles. So if you're in consideration of a future with this person, a life par partnership or a relationship that is long-term, you know, give it a good deal of thought, weigh realities on the ground, and above all else, take your time. Don't be rushed or pressured because the knight and the page of wands, right? Um, I tell the story and I've told it before where I used to do, uh, I have a, back, a background in clinical psychology and I've been a psychotherapist and I worked with women in crisis, uh, women and children in crisis, which always meant was translation for bad boyfriends. And I also did couples counseling and therapy. And uh, we'd have a session and things would go well and a lot would get processed and they'd come back a week later. And in this case, it was usually um, heterosexual, right? Male, female. Um, that's just the way it was at that time. Um, and the topic would come up for conversation and <laughs> invariably, the man would say, well, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about this? I thought we fixed this. I thought we already solved this last week. <laughs> say what? You know, like, why are we still on this? Didn't we process this last week? So I would have to <laughs> remind said person, the one who moves the slowest wins. Mm-hmm right? This is your pace setter energy coming in from spirit saying, if you're torn, if you're not sure that this is a person you want to have a future with or marry, et cetera, et cetera, go slow and don't let no damn body hurry your ass up because, you know, it might take you a hot minute to make your decision. And what I see here is somebody kind of coming in saying, but we, ha we have so much good stuff. Like, why is this still a thing? And they're kind of coming in impulsively and lightheartedly instead of with uber amounts of sincerity and concern and care and compassion. They're coming in like, yay. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, nobody liked it when I said the one who moves the slowest wins, but it was true. <laughs> you got to go with the pace of the person who has more of a need to process. Oh my God, I can't believe this <laughs> story is so perfect for this reading. 
Hidden energies, chariot. Yeah, this person. Um, matching your energy pretty well with this Eight of Swords. It can actually be their energy. This Eight of Swords could be them. Because we've got the Six of Cups underneath, but we've got the Ace of, of the Eight of Swords. And I said stuck energy and being all up in one's head. And it's showing up in the hidden energies. And this person, you know, wants to choose the connection and wants... <laughs> wants the fast moving forward motion of that chariot, the victory for the lovers, for the soulmates, for the twins. But there's something they're getting kind of caught up in their head. They, there's something that they're trying to sort through. Um, they want to be happy. So that's underneath when they think about it and they begin to get up all, all in their head about it. It kind of like makes them freeze. So I do feel in that case that the chariot is not necessarily moving at this time though they want it to. So that's in the hidden energies, but in the near future, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. So they kind of do get over it, but I'm not sure that they come up with the best approach. Yeah. Because they have the lovers and you have the lovers in your hopes and or fears, and that's very mirrored. Could be a mirroring of the Eight of Swords as well, where you're both kind of um, overthinking things. Well, we have this Eight of Cups again. Yeah, I feel like it's a choice you have to make. Can you get beyond? Can you leave the drama in the rearview mirror? Can you make space for this person if they come to you with an open heart? If they do show up, you're wanting Page of Cups, Page of, page of Cups, Knight of Cups. What you might get is Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. And that is a decidedly different energy. And I feel here like you're super cautious about getting played. That five of swords, like, yeah, I don't want to be gaslighted. I don't want to be like no zero sum game thing. I want what I want when I want it. And, you know, to hell with your feelings kind of stuff. So I keep seeing you here, whoever you are watching, really wanting the soft touch and not sure if you can handle anything other than that. Right? Can you leave everything that, you know, all the water under the bridge, under the bridge, so to speak, or is it only a certain way that they approach you that will be acceptable to you? So let's see this Queen of Pentacles in the outcome position. Well, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Not the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. Beautiful. So um, Spirit's absolutely right. You do you. You take your time. You are in important consideration to a pentacles of your future with this person, possibly your role as a wife or life partner to this person. So since that's what you're in consideration of, you know, get real solid with how you see everything, how you size it all up. The wheel feels like it's moving in your favor and it feels like it's bringing in a sense of urgency on this person's part to clear the air. And what that does, and I hate to say it this way, but it's true, it gives you a little bit of leverage. It gives you a little bit of leverage because the more intense their sense of urgency to get on the other side of whatever went wrong, the more leverage you have to show them how you want to be treated. Telling them isn't gonna do the job. If you're patient with yourself first and with the situation, if this is someone you feel like this person's got a lot of really good qualities and I can see a future with this person, but there's certain ways of, you know, the, the, the love languages, right? Our love languages are different and the way they approach me doesn't work for me. It's too brash, it's too, it runs too hot. It moves too fast. I need something a little bit more moderate and more affectionate and more compassionate and more sensitive. You can show them that. People are learnable. <laughs> They're teachable. Okay? So I do feel like the wheel is bringing this person in and the, the more um, 
they feel the need to kind of get things out in the open and clear the air, the more you're in the driver's seat. Yeah. And then it will be up to them if they want to hear what you have said or um, intuit what you have shown them so that they can get out of their own way and bring to you the love you desire and deserve. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so before I tell you all the energies that came through, as always, there is a link below that will take you to the extended where I'm gonna read from this person's point of view, whoever this is about. How they show up in the reading will be the first card, then I'm gonna do a three card spread for how they see the situation, what their thoughts are about it, you know, their take on everything. <clears throat> the center row will be all about how they see you, think about you, or feel about you. And the final row will be their intentions toward you going forward. And I'll pull another card from Spirit to help navigate all that energy and close out with an Oracle card as well. So the pretty comprehensive readings in the extended. The links below. Here's who showed up. We've got Empress's Taurus and Libra. I love it when you show up in your own reading. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I just think that that's the passion between you. I feel like this is um, a relationship where there's a good deal of chemistry. We have here the Queen of Pentacles is out twice, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Chariot is out twice, that's Cancerian energy. Lovers is out twice, do you get the picking up the mirrored, right? Lovers is out twice, that's Gemini. The Sun is Leo. And the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, Sagittarian energy. So that's what I have for you. Um, the link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Take care, bye for now.